Hi, we're so awkward. I'm Brooke. And I'm Rachel. And this is our social distancing episode number two. Today we're outside again in Brooke's wonderful backyard listening to nature sounds instead of nature sounds on the stereo. And a chicken. Occasionally. And the chicken. So today we're going to be making a seat cushion cover for an outside chair that hangs and it's just it's a cushion. hanging basket chair. And it's just well, let's get sewing. Okay, this is the fabric we're using. Yeah, very nautical. Kind of goes with some octopus pillows that this is okay. So this is a birthday present for a friend. It's her 42nd birthday tomorrow. Okay, hey, we're going to try doing it this way. There might be other better ways. But we're gonna put the cushion on top. Okay, so this is the oh. Oh yeah, we need to figure out. Oh shoot. This is the butt. I just realized something. We're gonna have to cut it in half and flip it. Huh? Okay. Okay, we're gonna trace it on this and cut it once. Tell me, Rachel. What are we doing? I'm a giant clam. Okay. We're Come going here and check out my pearl. Okay. You want to scissor or you want me to scissor? I'll scissor this part. Okay. I feel like I've been knighted. What is the woman equivalent of a knight? Hey, it's still a knight. A dame? It's still a knight. No, it's got to be something else. Well... Uh, but Brienne, Brienne of Tarth. Brienne of Tarth was knighted. In more ways than one. Oh my. <laughs> hey, it had to happen. <laughs> and I have watched Game of Thrones, so now I know what you're talking about. Yes. Have you watched it more than once? Nope. I suppose I could help. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're filming. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we put the cushion on with the top... Here. Which one's the top? I'm a clam, not a cushion. Cushion clam, which one is your top? Okay. There we go. We're done. <laughs> I hope this works. It'll work. We're using an air dry pen, so we kind of got to hurry a little bit. See, it makes a nice purple line. Oops. Purple line here. And then we're going to add two and a half inches with this ruler here and draw another line around. So that'll be fun. Oh, we're back to me. Almost meets up. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we decided to do our Bunting. seam allowance. Probably because I'm sitting on it. We got a ruler that was two and a half wide, and now we are just scooting it along the mark that we made around the cushion originally, because this is gonna be the depth of the cushion and our seam allowance. Look how smart we are. We'll figure this out. Where do I end up at? Here. Look at that! We did it! We did it! Okay, we Woo! gotta cut fast. Now we gotta cut because it's air dry. Still sewing. This thing's pretty large. That's what she said. I'm gonna leave that in there, you know. This is also an instructional video for you. If you never wash this, this is how you're going to put it back in. Don't worry how you're not going to put it back in. Look at that. Wow. We have a little gappage. That's perfect, though, because it's meant to fold, remember? Remember, it's got to bend into the basket shape. 
Right now we're putting some buttonholes into this cover, but first we're practicing on some fabric. And we don't have any buttons, so we're using a bobbin from my machine. Just over? That's how little it was. That was the old one. No, it's the, but that no. How it's is the one this I so this. little? I don't know. I'm gonna go get a button. All right. That's weird. Number three, buttonhole. Why is it so short? What am I doing wrong? Well, folks, when you haven't done a buttonhole in a while, you need to. Um, Lower the buttonhole lever all the way down and push it away from you. Where's the buttonhole lever? Is it this thingy? That's not... That's the pressure foot. Is it this thingy? Yes! <laughs> we found it! Yay! I even circled it in here because that's what I keep forgetting to do. It's right here by Where's my finger. Circled? Right here, Step I circled six. it. Okay, let's try this again. Now it's going to be way too big. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be way too big. It's going to be perfect. Okay, and this is down. Okay. down you guys this is our third buttonhole now we're on a roll three more to go four more to go four more to go <laughs> look at look at the cats this is work hazard when you work outside cats will just take over To show off my biceps. Oh, they don't really show this Then we video. go to a park near Brooke's work when Brooke isn't yeah. at work. Gonna, I don't know. That's kind of. Woo! Look at that it's gun. Hard, it's hard to see, but I'm in the best shape of my life right now thanks to COVID. Thanks, COVID. Thanks, COVID. We're getting our uh, regular lunch of um, tacos at a place that's at a place that rhymes with Baco Hell. And uh, back in the day when I was in high school, I apparently, when we, I go with my friend to go get tacos and uh, the friend that I'm making the cushion for, I would get a 12 pack of tacos for me, for my lunch. And she thought that I was getting them to share with her. And so to eat, I would eat 12 tacos and not <laughs> share with her. And she, to this day, will not let it live me down on it. I have heard that Taco Bell story so many times. I'm sorry. So, Delina? What did you call it? Huh? What? Bracco Hell? What? Rhymes with Bracco Hell. Whatever. Taco Bell. Whatever. You know what um, we mean. So, Delina, I think we finally have let this rest. We there. got the 12 taco pack and we split it between the three of us. Yeah, so she got her tacos finally. So, you keep talking um, about her like... She's just your friend, but she's my friend too. Yes. But you just known her longer. I've known her longer since I've known her since junior high. But it was high school when I apparently would not share my tacos. I'm so glad you. So I'm not selfish gonna, anymore. Up here, I'm gonna order me some food. It took me about a half an hour to sew on one snap closure, and I mean both of these is one snap closure. So that was about a half an hour. So now we're trying this kind where you just hammer it in to save time here. It's time for the tip of the month. Just the tip. When you're tired of sewing on snaps, it's time to bring out the hammer. It's a handy tool for any sewing person to have. And then you get to get the snaps <clears throat> that you hammer on instead of sewing. And you get your aggression out with a hammer.
it work? Yeah, but we're gonna need to do another one in between. Oh, it, hey, that only took two minutes and 20 seconds as opposed to 20 minutes. I'm hot. Woohoo! Time for the plant of the month. This month's plant is a free plant. A free plant is a plant that is free to you. This one I found at a donation bin as I was driving to work about six weeks ago. I was driving by and I said, that looks like a plant. So I turned around and went back and it was this plant. And it had two leaves. It had these two leaves. And it's grown two leaves since I've had it. I believe it's a type of uh, alocasia. Um, but don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pretty awesome plant because it was free. We just finished this project. So now we are going to put it into the cushion cover for the last time. Oh, does that mean I can't do my clam? <laughs> you mean oyster? Clam. <laughs> I'm calling it a clam. I think it's an oyster. I think it's a clam. <laughs> While Brooke is doing that, I will tell you my Delina story. So once upon a time I lived in Florida and we were moving back to Oregon and I needed help with my family. We needed help driving our cars across country and Delina volunteered to spend four and a half days in two tight cars with me, my husband, my daughter, and our two dogs. She is really helped us out and I am forever grateful that she did that for us. And look, we found a cat. Oh, here. Kendall. All right, we're done. Snap it up. Be snappy. Every time that you sit in this, Rachel, you're going to say, look, I sewed that snap on. <laughs> I will always remind her that of the love that I have for her in that snap. <laughs> She's going to be like, why is this one different? <laughs> it's done. Happy birthday, Delia. Happy birthday. Welcome to 42. That's a wrap. We finished on our improvised seat cushion cover. I think we did pretty good, considering we did not have a pattern, we didn't know what we were doing, and, you know, unprofessional as much as we are. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. So, Wait, I, I wanna, nope. Ah! You can't see it, my mouth is moving. Ah, it's a taco. <laughs> <laughs> We had I tacos for lunch, remember? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway, Delina. Delina, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And I hope you like it. And don't forget to click on that little subscribe button. Like us on YouTube. Find us on Facebook. And until then, don't forget to be so awkward. <laughs> Thank you.